Hi, I'm Heather and welcome to Plus Net Help. The internet is a great place. You can pretty much do anything you want whenever you want. But that's a double-edged sword. For example, kids having 24-hour access isn't the best. Luckily for you, you have a hub too from Plusnet. So now when they go to bed to read, you can make sure they aren't secretly on their tablet watching YouTube. Let's give you control like it's 1984. First, make sure you're connected to your home Wi-Fi. Go to your browser and type in 192.168.1.1. This will load up the Hub Manager. In the bottom right, select Advanced Settings. Then choose Access Control along the bottom. At this point, you'll be prompted for your admin password. This can be found on the handy card on the back of your Hub. Once you've entered the password, press Submit and you'll now be able to fully manage which devices can connect to the internet and when. This page is split into three sections shown at the top. Schedules, pause, and groups. Each does as you'd expect. Let's start with schedules. This can block access to individual devices between set times of the day on different days. This will do all the heavy lifting for you. So if the house rules are no cartoons on the tablet after 7 p.m. during the week, we can set that schedule. Just choose Select Device and you'll find a list of devices that are either currently connected to your router, shown with a pink icon, or have been connected in the past, shown by a grey icon. You might have to do a bit of testing to confirm which is the right device. The hub will attempt to assign each device an icon based on what it thinks it is, so a phone, tablet or computer icon. If you want, you can rename these to make it easier in the future. To do this, go back to your Hub Manager home screen, choose My Devices, and at the bottom you have that same list of devices connected to your Hub as seen on the earlier page. Select one, and you'll get a new screen that lets you change the device name. So we can call this Kids Tablet. Now, when we go back to the Access Control page, we can find our renamed device. Choose it and press Set. Now, it's as simple as choosing your schedule times by pressing on Start Time or End Time boxes. Picking the days you need. Then, press the little plus button on the right to store it. Lastly, press save to confirm everything. You've now set your first schedule to block access to a device. Feels good, doesn't it? If you ever want to stop it for a time, unselect the blocked button next to that schedule and it will pause it indefinitely. If you think you'll never need that schedule again, the cross to the right will remove it entirely. Don't forget to press save each time to make sure your changes stick. Here's a tip. If there's a bunch of the same devices that need to follow the same rules, you don't need to add them individually. Instead, we just create a group. Select the groups tab at the top. Make a name. Let's pick kids computers. And like before, press select device. Set it and press the plus icon to the right to add more devices. Do this for as many devices on your network as you want. When you're done, make sure to press save. You'll see it appear as its own group below. You can always add new devices to it by following the same steps or delete the whole group by choosing the cross icon. You can also easily see what devices are in any group by pressing the arrow icon on the right. When we go back to the Schedules tab, we can press Select Group and our newly made group appears. The rest is just the same as before for setting a schedule.
finally, we have the pause tab. This is even more straightforward. If you just want to block connections for an hour, or maybe only until 9pm, for example, you can do that here. Again, it can be for individual devices or any groups you've created. Sorted! You can now flex your complete control over your home network. If you'd like more information, you can see our other hub videos and guides over at plus.net forward slash help.